All right. Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePredictions.com here with the Earthquake Channel. It is 9.43 in the evening in California on Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. What a great year. And we're going to go over the uh, earthquakes that have happened during the last uh, 24 hours. Two significant uh, quakes, 5.5 here in south of Lima, Peru, and a 5.5 north of uh, Japan, in the Russian area there. So two significant earthquakes. Also, we had a uh, 3.5 earthquake right here in Los Angeles and a 3.5 and a 3.3 up here in Central California. This one down in uh, Los Angeles was felt across uh, from Oxnard to Santa Clarita down to Mission Viejo to San Bernardino, quite, quite a wide area there uh, that earthquake was felt. And uh, we were calling for an earthquake in that area near uh, Simi Valley. Uh, that's uh, close enough to, but it's not large enough. So we're still forecasting a, you can look at the graph um, here, that 3.5 hit right when this was peaking, the peak in risk. However, uh, it's still very high right now. And it peaks again on the 21st as well. So we're still going uh, for 6.3 as possible during the next uh, 30 hours or so. Still on the remainder of this uh, uh, spike in risk and also this one over here on the 21st. And over in uh, San Francisco, this uh, spike in risk is on the 21st as well. And a 4.6 is possible up there. The risk is, extends from San Francisco Bay all the way down to Los Angeles and even to the Salton Sea. Uh, the highest risk again is uh, in Northwest Los Angeles. So we're looking for a 6.3 as possible during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours in the Los Angeles area. We're keeping an eye on that for you. So let's look at some of the other forecasts around the world. We have uh, Anchorage, Alaska and that uh, risk was up to about 70% on the 22nd of January. And then in uh, Hawaii, a uh, pretty steady risk of about 60% um, up and down here across. Well, I guess here we are right here, the 20th, 21st. So we're in, we're in the about 60% risk range in Hilo, Hawaii. And over in uh, Puerto Rico, the risk is uh, spiking, reaching a peak here at 100% risk on the late on the 21st, which is uh, coming up tomorrow into the 22nd. So we could get a uh, 4.5 to 5.0 in the Puerto Rico area late on the 21st into the morning of the 22nd. And in Seattle, Washington, uh, the risk of uh, the 21st uh, we have the risk here on the 20th, still about uh, 90%, and risk on the 23rd, about 82%. Um, this whole Seattle forecast is calibrated much different than the uh, Los Angeles forecast, but this could produce a 2.5 to 3.0 in the Seattle, Washington area during the next uh, 24 hours. All right, Athens, Greece. You can see the risk was very high here. This produced a bunch of 4.0 to 4.5 quakes and also 5.2 when this risk was maxing out here on the 12th into the 13th. And now we've uh, 4.6 happened on this uh, peak here in the 18th. Now the risk is down, <clears throat> it's falling rapidly from uh, what about 38% to 20% during the next 48 hours in Athens. So pretty quiet in Greece, Athens, Greece right now. Bogota, Colombia on the 22nd, risk goes up to 70%. On the 23rd, goes up to 100%. So uh, we could get a 4.5 to 5.0 uh, on either of those peaks. And then uh, in Santiago, Chile, very interesting. This uh, spiked on the 18th. And there was a 6.4 earthquake that was spiking at about 82% in Santiago. The 6.4 was across the border in Argentina, but was felt in Santiago on this peak in the 18th. Now the risk is going up again on the 22nd, 23rd, and then the highest on the 24th. And that could produce a 5.0 to 
or larger around the Santiago area. All right, Costa Rica. And we had a 4.4 uh, north of uh, Costa Rica, Nicaragua on this peak and a 4.3 on the Costa Rica, Panama border on this one. This peak coming up on the 23rd, 20, late on the 22nd of the 23rd, could produce be between a 4.5 and a 5.0 earthquake. Costa Rica, Cyprus. Cyprus, the risk is uh, <clears throat> right now at about 60 to 70 percent and falling after that. And Ecuador, excuse me. <clears throat> Ecuador forecast is interesting off of the northwest coast, coast of uh, Ecuador. <clears throat> this uh, spike in risk here on the 15th produced a bunch of quakes off the uh, northwest coast of Ecuador. And now we are moving into the, this spike in risk on the 23rd, late on the 23rd. And that could produce uh, between a 4.5 and a 5.0 uh, within 100 miles of Quito, Ecuador. El Salvador, this spike in risk produced a 5.9 west of El Salvador in Guatemala, uh, late on the 15th. This uh, spike in risk produced a 4.2 in Nicaragua. And this one also produced a 4.2, I believe, in uh, southeast of El Salvador. 4.2 on this spike in risk on the 20th. And coming up on the 22nd, uh, about 70% risks, about a 4.5 as possible in El Salvador. Guatemala, just uh, west of El Salvador. This four peak produced a 4.2 in El, uh, just east of Guatemala in El Salvador. This spike here on the 21st could produce a 4.0 to 4.5 in Guatemala. Indonesia, we had a spike on the late on the 20th, produced a 4.8. And now this uh, risk is uh, reaching a peak right now in, uh, in uh, Jakarta, Indonesia, and could produce a 5.0 larger within uh, 100 miles of Jakarta. Naples, Italy, the risk is pretty quiet right now, and the risk rises to 65% on the 24th. Tokyo, Japan, uh, the risk was spiking on the 20th, and we have another spike here uh, late on the 22nd, and that could produce a 4.0 to 4.5 in and around the Tokyo area. We'll be adding more cities in the future. Here's a forecast for Christchurch, New Zealand. And coming up on the 21st, we have a spike in risk here at about 60%. Otherwise, gets uh, the risk falls after that. And then in Managua, Nicaragua, the spike produced that uh, 5.9 west of uh, Nicaragua in Guatemala. This one produced a 4.4, this one produced a 4.2. And now the risk is pretty much falling off here and uh, rising on the 24th. So we'll see what, that, what happens there. Lima, Peru. Now this is an interesting forecast. You can go back and look at the uh, world forecast maps and the earthquakes that hit. You can zoom into uh, the Lima area and you'll see all these quakes over here. 5.1, 4.8, 5.5, 5.3, 4 4.8, all hit south of Lima right during this peak here, this strong peak in risk on the uh, late on the 20th and going into the 21st. So yet <clears throat> this risk remains high near Lima, Peru. Uh, for the 21st and then again on the 22nd. So we'll, we'll continue to see more earthquakes around Lima during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. In Manila, Philippines, um, the 20, we're at the 20, I guess it's about the 21st right now we're there. And so the risk is gonna spike here on the 22nd and then again on the 24th. 
So 4.5 is possible in and around Manila, Philippines on the 22nd or 23rd. Again, we saw this one in Puerto Rico late on the 21st into the 22nd. And Taiwan, we had a spike on the 20th. And now we're, it's uh, the 21st over there right now. This is coming up on the 24th. So we'll, we'll see what that brings. That could produce a 5.0 uh, in, in around uh, Taipei, Taiwan on the 24th. Istanbul, Turkey, the risk is uh, falling off. Uh, below 30% now for the next uh, couple of days. Uh, this spike in risk was uh, 5.2 happened over in Greece. So uh, these forecasts are kind of uh, similar. You can see Athens, Greece, kind of similar to the uh, forecast in Istanbul. A little bit different, but similar. They're pretty close. Okay, let's look at the... Uh, Los Angeles forecast again. Now we had a 3.5 when this uh, reached a peak here on the early in the morning on the 20th, right there in the Los Angeles basin. And I'm sure millions of people felt that. And uh, the risk remains very high for the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. Actually it's through, through the 21st. So another, uh, another 24 to 36 hours uh, 6.3 is still possible uh, in California, most likely northwest of Los Angeles within 50 miles of Simi Valley. So it could happen anywhere in California, but most likely. And, and also remember this, uh, this peak here in uh, San Francisco comes tomorrow, January 21st, and a 4.5 or larger could happen in the San Francisco Bay. So it's uh, very high risk in uh, California. Uh, even higher risk in Los Angeles. So we'll see what uh, this next uh, 30 hours or so brings to the Los Angeles area. Be on alert for a, a, a stronger earthquake in the Los Angeles area during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. All right. Thank you very much for joining us here tonight on uh, Wednesday, January 20th, 9.55 p.m. right now. And uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. And we'll be, uh, be sure to subscribe over at YouTube there and uh, support us with that. And we'll be back tomorrow night again uh, with a forecast and uh, keep an eye on the, the area around Los Angeles and uh, San Francisco during the next 24 hours. Uh, we, the risk is very elevated across to California and even more elevated uh, near Simi Valley, Northwest of Los Angeles. So be prepared and be on alert for a significant earthquake uh, tonight into tomorrow. And we'll be back again tomorrow, tomorrow night. Thank you so much. And we will talk to you again on Thursday evening, hopefully. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.